Nation has developed Ray. here. The paramedics Ray, are up. rushing into the ring. Come on, Ray, get up, man. Bishop is absolutely motionless. Give us some room, people. We need to work. Isaac, do you feel bad about what happened tonight? Do I feel bad? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not how this works. This is called boxing. Have you, let, let me do it. Listen, I'm not gonna cry every time some clown gets hurt, right? Raymond Bishop knew the risks when he stepped into the ring with me. Maybe if he ever wakes up, I'll knock some sense into his stupid ass. Tell Dio he could have whatever he wants. Get me in the ring with Frost. I know emotions are running high right now, but in the heat of battle, people say things, uh, ugly things. And, uh, that's all for now. Please. Tell Andre Bishop he doesn't have anything I want. Everybody wants this fight to happen. I don't. Candace, uh, could you send Franco to escort my daughter out here? Good night, Megan. Good night, DL. Good night, Ms. McQueen. Franco, my father's letting you go down for setting up Andre Bishop. I don't know what you're talking about. You will. I'll show myself out. If I'm going down for the Bishop job, you're going with me. You gave the order. What the hell are you talking about? Your daughter just told me. That I'm going down for setting up Bishop? How does she even know about that? Um, down. She doesn't know anything. Uh, Don't fuck with me, McQueen. Nobody can prove anything. It's your word against the next con. We're fine. I still don't like her sniffing around. Excuse me. I forgot my phone. If I'm going down for the Bishop job, you're going with me. I believe Andre Bishop has something you want. Megan, you can't do this. Megan! Megan! I have to admit, I did not want this fight to happen. Even though both fighters wanted it. Even though the public wanted it. And even though I would have made a ridiculous amount from it, I did not want this fight to happen because I did not want to risk two tragedies happening to the same family. But we know Raymond Bishop, fine boxer, fine young man, is going to recover fully from his injuries. I am proud to announce DL McQueen Promotions is bringing you the fight the challenger has been demanding. The fight the champion has been demanding the fight you have been demanding. Isaac Frost versus Andre Bishop for the heavyweight championship of the world. May the best man win. On stage. Good evening and we welcome you to Las Vegas for the heavyweight championship fight between Andre Bishop and Isaac Frost here at the MGM Grand. Isaac Frost, one of the best power-punching, intimidating champions we've seen in the grand history of the sport, not long ago laid an absolute beatdown on Raymond Bishop, Andre's little brother. Now tonight, Andre seeks revenge with emotions running high, Teddy. And that's the key word there, Joe, emotions. You know, this sport is about skills and wills, but it's also about emotion and not the way that a lot of people think. You can't get mad and go out there and be a good fighter, be a champion. You have to control that. You get mad. Okay. This is good. This is good. Any questions from the challenger? When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these. Oh, he didn't see that left hand, and it got to... Oh! Andre Bishop is floored. This is not the first time that he's been on the campus, so he will not panic. 
Bishop able to get back on his feet, but will he be steady on those feet? I think he will, and believe it or not, I think there may be an opportunity for him to catch his opponent coming in a little reckless. The trainer of Andre Bishop was talking about the fact that, hey, this is a different beast fighting in the heavyweight division. He wants him to block some of these big blows. Don't slow down! You got him! Teddy, talk to me about this matchup from a defensive side of the game when you have two speedy fighters matching up. Well, you know what? I'm going to whisper in my guy's ear a little bit. I'm going to say, you know what? Use his speed against him. Step out a little bit. Let him shadow box a little bit. There's nobody there. And when he misses, step right back in. Make him pay. Bishop's in giving us anything to talk about right here, Teddy. He's not moving, he's not boxing, he's not fighting. Well, 75% of this business is mental, and you would love to know mentally what's going on in his mind right now. Not much. And as is his M.O., Isaac Ross pressing the action, wasting no time in getting right after Andre Bishop. Oh, you gotta love Isaac Frost there landing the uppercut. That was something. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Well, the big man with the big walking stick, Isaac Frost, handling his opponent with the jab. Well, once again, that wasn't a fantastic round by Andre Bishop, but I will say this, Teddy. He's hanging in this fight. Isaac Frost is yet to get off good and clean against him. No, Bishop is doing what he needs to do. You know, he's making believe he's Claude Rains, the original Invisible Man. He is not wanting to be seen here tonight. Not seen by Frost. Combination punching by Isaac Frost there. The big man can put his punches together. Nice! Nice! Headshot lands was a hook. Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Good job with another one. Bishop is hurt. Oh, Bishop took some serious damage right there. Now you gotta wonder whether or not he knows how to survive. Big shot. Wow! How will he overcome this? Bishop is down. Oh, this is like a microcosm of his life. He's been down outside the ring before and has gotten up too. And that will serve him because he has survived very difficult things outside the ring. And he is thinking of that right now, believe me. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Hey, I know he's not in great shape, but he's doing a very good job now all of a sudden of defending himself. Now he's putting his punches together, the combination upstairs. Well, he goes to the gut with a right hand. End of the round. Good work, Tim. Beautiful work. Like we talked about, he's slowing down a bit. So let's help him out a little. What do you say? I want you to go downstairs and give him some power shots now. I want you to chop that wood for three rounds. Got it? Knock the air out of his lungs. Three rounds. Power shots. Pound that body. You got it? I got it. Pound that body. Good man.
a new round, but will it be much the same? Bishop's been down numerous times tonight, Teddy. Well, if there was a mercy rule like there is in Little League Baseball, guess what? It would be invoked right now, and this would be over. Looks to the head. Zones in on that overhand right. Body, body, watch the body. Oh, and he digs in with a body shot. Does Andre Bishop against Isaac Frost. Get out, get out, get out. Bang the box. Frost's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Took a shot. Now he gives the left. Getting rid of that punch from his opponent. Well blocked by Andre Bishop. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut. Look at that. Great work there. could go down. Teddy, I think he's going to go down. I think he's going to go down after getting tagged right there. He doesn't know where to go. I mean, he's like a guy that's caught in a hailstorm. He's trying to get to the other side of the street, but he just doesn't know where it is now. I think Andre Bishop has found something here. More and more body shots landing against the champ. Andre Bishop just passed a very tough test. No doubt about it that he was hurt. Now oh, there's no doubt that he Watch will fight on. Chopping a little wood with that hook. To the belt line he goes with a left hand. Nice, sharp, hey, fundamentally sound hook that. right there, and it served him well. Andre Bishop's inability to defend himself well in that last round was costly, and trainer Gus Carissi is trying to correct that mistake. Exactly, and this is where somebody outside the ring who's calm or who's not fighting can see something and give advice that right, a fighter great, does not know, great. that a fighter Come cannot on, see. Crazy in there. No need for that. Just box smart for me, all right? I want to see more jabs and keep your distance. Wait for the opening, right? You got it? Fresh round is underway, but is it a fresh fighter? Bishop's corner is hoping so. Based on what we saw at the end of the last round, who knows? Well, his corner should also be hoping that his opponent across the way doesn't come out here like the executioner to get this over with, because if he does, I think come it's on, over. Champ. Don't let him tap the butt. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Scored well with that right hand. That is a big shot. Andre Bishop is on shaky legs. And you know what's going to hurt him now, Joe? He's such a cocky fighter. Such a... Wow. Wow. Bishop is on the floor. And he's got to have the instinct of grabbing right now. Not going right after the guy. You see, he comes over the top with that right hand. A real solid shot. Right to the belt line. A flush hook scores well for him. All of a sudden, a glimmer of hope for Andre Bishop. That was a good body shot. The trainer of Andre Bishop was talking about the fact that, hey, this is a different beast fighting in the heavyweight division. He wants him to block some of these big blows. That's as good as it gets right there. A crushing uppercut by Andre Bishop. He digs in with a left hand to the body. Digs in with a good 
solid uppercut after taking one. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Oh! Andre Bishop hits the deck. Andre Bishop was talking about the fact that, hey, this is a different beast fighting in the heavyweight division. He wants him to block some of these big blows. Committing to the work downstairs with the left. Not too close. Not too That's a good close. job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Well, there's one way to slow the champ. Andre Bishop with a stinging body shot to Isaac Frost. Lands that hook to the midsection. They both decide to bring it. Isaac Frost putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. He gets to him with an uppercut. Oh, man, he's in rough shape after absorbing that blow. Oh, he's hurt right there. He, how about that left right there? Wow! Down goes Bishop. Underway. Quick snapping hook, and it does damage. You remember when Andre Bishop is in a bad spot right now? He is damaged. If I'm Bishop, I clinch. I tie up. I just hug that big tree up. That was a left hand that came raining in on him. He does. Wow. Andre Bishop down. Will he be able to survive this? Get up, get up. Good work, kid. You... And round number three is underway. You remember when Andre Bishop was a good, hard-charging middleweight prospect? He was a great combination puncher. That's what he's doing now as a heavyweight here. This is where his opponent could use a construction hard hat. If Isaac Cross is throwing a right hand like that, it could be lights out. Andre Bishop's left working well that time Body shot. Body shot. and now we got a fight he go. fires back a right oh and bishop goes down This fight is over, Bishop. And round number three is underway. Punches and bunches, combination up top. His opponent dazed and stunned. Isaac Cross lands a damaging blow to the head. 
The trainer of Andre Bishop was talking about the fact that, hey, this is a different beast fighting in the heavyweight division. He wants him to block some of these big blows. And that's a swing and a miss by Isaac Frost. Get away, get away, get away. Isaac Frost isn't a one-punch-at-a-time kind of guy. He will throw combinations like that. This is Isaac. This is... Isaac Frost is able to land a good, solid left hand. Landing two jab by Andre Bishop. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Lock. Lock. Oh, and he digs in with a body shot. Does Andre Bishop against Isaac Frost? One, two, one, two. Wow! And Bishop goes down. He's been here for Frost. He knows what to do. Good work, kid. Beautiful work. Like we talked about. And round number three is underway. Get to this part, bud. Take it further. Keep that head moving. The trainer of Andre Bishop was talking about the fact that, hey, this is a different beast fighting in the heavyweight division. He wants him on, to block some of these big blows. Targeting that belt line with the right hand. And now he's targeting upstairs. All of a sudden, a glimmer of hope for Andre Bishop. That was a good body shot. Move, Isaac, move! Takes one, gives one. Wow! Andre Bishop now rise up off the canvas. Get up. Two, three, four, five. Let's go. Get up. underway able to dismiss it keep working the body crashes home with the uppercut the big burly dangerous isaac frost with a strong combination come on champ keep your distance frost right hand working well that time he scored well oh bishop got battered right there Bishop was absolutely battered right there. The one... Oh! Andre Bishop is on the canvas. This is where an aggressive attitude and personality hurts you because he's probably not going to think about grabbing, and he should. Come on, get to your feet. Well, we know he can get up. What we don't know is how steady he will be on those legs. But well, we know his personality. He's an offensive-minded fighter, and he has to control that right now. Right now, he has to think about defense. One of the fastest punches in the game. You see how he just turns over that hook? Halfway through this round. Well, there's one way to slow the champ. Andre Bishop with a stinging body shot to Isaac Frost. There's the hook by Andre Bishop. That was well scored. Keep moving, champ. Stick and move. Again. You know Andre Bishop's trainer is going to be really thrilled to see him do that there. He doesn't want to see his fighter get hit too much tonight. That was a nice block. The trainer of Andre Bishop was talking about the fact that, hey, this is a different beast fighting in the heavyweight division. He wants him to block some of these big blows. Isaac Frost getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Wow! Down goes Andre Bishop.
it's over. But <sighs> good. And round number three is underway. The trainer of Andre Bishop was talking about the fact that hey, this is a different beast fighting in the heavy. Wow. Andre Bishop is down. How will he survive this? Big uppercut from Isaac Cross, who's a big, big man. I'm gonna give this one more go. And it's all over. Bishop's. Number three is underway. Andre Bishop has always been known as a fast fighter. He's had that hand speed as a middleweight. And now it's transferred into his heavyweight days as he lands the hook there. Well placed hook there. Oh, and he digs in with a body shot. Does Andre Bishop against Isaac Frost. Sorry, yep, I just have to move. The other day when we were talking to Andre Bishop, he said to have success in this fight, I have to land combinations. He landed a good one there. Combo lands to the head. Well, it's a tough moment for Andre Bishop right now. He's hurt. I can hear it. Oh! Trouble time for Bishop. He's going to have to beat the count. You wonder whether or not he's going to panic here or whether or not he's going to grab on the way he should. The ref is stopping this fight. Bishop's unable to get himself a world title here tonight. Comes up short. You already get... Okay, I'll do it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you next time.